Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hey, I'm Nine Pink, and today I'll be showing you the best level guide in Project Slayers. This level guide will take you all the way to level zero to max level instantly. Well, you, you know, not instantly, but you know, quickly. We'll be we, we quick, okay? Real quick, make sure to join my Discord server. Link will be in the description below. Thank you very much. But anyway, back onto the video. Okay, now starting from level zero to ten, you're gonna want to head over to your starter village. If you're new to the game, you should already be there off the bat. Once you're in the starter village, go over and talk to Somi. She's the pink-haired girl. And all you're going to want to do is do the quest that she tells you to do until you're level 10. Now then, once you're level 10, just follow where I go and you'll see your next quest. Now you're just going to want to do this quest until you're level 20. This quest is really easy and quick to do, so this part shouldn't take you that long to do. But anyway now, once you get to level 20, I recommend you either go into final selection and get your crow quest, or talk to Muzan and get your Muzan quest, or as another option, you can carry on doing this quest, but I think this version is a lot slower, so I do recommend either getting the crow or Muzan quest. Now if you want to know how to beat final selection, get the crow quest and find Muzan to be able to become a demon, make sure to check out the two linked videos in the description below, as both of those will show you how to do that. Now then once you actually reach level 30, just follow where I go. We'll take you straight to your next quest. Now then once you're here, just talk to his Grandpa Sharon. And you're going to want to go ahead and fight the NPCs over there. It'll also tell you to fight the boss. That boss is fairly easy, so don't worry. Now as far as I know, this is the last quest that you do in first map. Carry on doing this quest until you're uh, to level 30, and then you'll be able to go to the second map. But anyway, once you are actually in the second map, you will spawn in this village right here. It's called Nome Village. And just like in the first map, you're going to want to talk to the NPC. This time it's a Desomi, it is going to be Tyrone. Just like, again, in the first map, he will tell you to defeat the NPCs and then one boss. This time it is a little bit harder, still fairly easy. Now you're going to want to carry on doing this until you're level 80. That was a little bit of grind, but trust me, when you're high level, it is so worth it. Anyway, once you're to level 80, just follow what I go over to the horseman. Now once you're the horse guy, if you haven't already, make sure to go to your map and buy Wop City with your map point. If you've done that already, you go ahead and click Wop City and teleport right over to there. Now once you're there, just go ahead and follow to where I go. Now that once you here, just go ahead and talk to this handsome fellow right here. Just like every other quest you've done, go ahead and defeat all of the NPCs there. Do this until you're level 100. Now as far as I know this, it, this is actually the last quest that it makes you do. The option is, I've been doing this quest, which I highly do not recommend at all. So instead of doing this quest over and over again repeatedly, you're going to want to go ahead and do Awagara Dungeons. Because if you don't know, after you do those dungeons, you can spend your points on EXP. It gives you a lot of EXP. You can also do it on normal dungeons as well. That works. I recommend Awagara Dungeons a lot more than just the regular dungeons that happen every two hours. Another thing that you can do, which I personally did, was just go ahead and boss rotate. 
you don't know what boss rotating is, it's just where you go ahead and kill all of the big bosses over and over again in a rotating pattern. These bosses can be found all around the map. You know what I mean by big bosses? The ones that spawn every 15 minutes. These ones do in fact give you the most EXP, especially of a quest to defeat them. I recommend both of those options, either one are perfectly fine. Sadly, this is all you just gotta carry on doing until you finally reach max level. I mean, I've been playing Project Slay since the very start it came out. And look, I'm not even max level yet. I take a couple of breaks in between, but it's still a very, very heavy grind to be able to reach max level. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful rest of your day slash evening. Uh, goodbye.